This is a beautiful channel cat pulled out of the Red River here in Morris, Manitoba. Um, I'm gonna show you how I fillet the catfish. A lot of people do it a lot different than me, um, but I find this way to me most simple and uh, easiest way to do it. And uh, what I'm gonna start off with is all you need is some pliers or shears or whatever these are and I'm gonna take off these fins there's spikes here and if you try to lay the catfish on its side like this it's not laying flat so what you want to do is I'm gonna start off with taking off these now I'm gonna start from the back work my way up and then there is a hard bone right here that you have to come around and all the way up front here and then beautifully lay it down. A catfish does not have any side bone or any bones in its meat. It has some very hard rib bones which we're going to take out. Sorry, there's a spray plane over top that's making a lot of noise but anyways we're gonna start off and uh, take off the spikes I'm gonna start from back here fill it up to here and I lay them nicely on the side and hold the knife against his backbone all the way and once you get to this part right here you stop and continue to nicely fill it up Right here you have to work around because there's a hard bone right in here that you have to get around so and get right to the front and once you're at the front right here you cut out the V and then you just follow your knife follow the rib bones And there you have a beautiful piece of meat. This all is, might get a little bit off here, but it's all just ribs right here. There's not much left on this fish. And you've got all the nice meat right down in here as well. So we're gonna turn them over the other side and do this side. And this time I'll do it a little faster. it I'm not gonna take any of the belly meat because that's where all the toxins go especially on a channel cat I'm not interested in that meat and now there's the skin here that I'm going to fill it off that's where a lot of people would take the pliers first and try to get the skin off and I'm gonna show you how I do that very simple as you would do with any fish you would skin it off and then right behind there there's a blood there's a red membrane that runs right across 
which would have to be removed as well. If you do not remove it, that's a fishy, that's what makes a catfish taste very fishy. So I like to start from this end, give me a little hold, and then fill it all the way down. That's, there's nothing left on here. Now, this is a lot of fat and this red membrane has to be removed. To remove it, you simply take your knife, go under and come back. And then as you're cutting down, you press with your fingers down and take off that red membrane which is a very fishy and fatty taste and simply you don't want to eat this now if you take a look at this it's beautiful beautiful white meat but I have to trim off this extra fat on the side as well so if you want a catfish to taste extremely good which it does taste more like chicken than fish if you're doing it right you will remove this fat from the side and on this side trim off the fat and it has a beautiful beautiful texture fish it's flaky and this is what you have left absolutely delicious catfish like to cut them into squares and then throw it into an egg and milk batter and then into breading and deep fry them you would think you're eating chicken cutlets Let's try the other side, I'll do it a little faster. And there you have it. Two beautiful fillets, which you then wash with cold water. And gonna have those for supper. If you like this video, please subscribe. There'll be more videos coming out shortly. Thank you.